Um, I I was in I forget what cities we were in. Like it was a midwestern loop or something. But uh, uh, I had gotten word that he was, you know, really a touch and go. You know, and um, so I called and you know, um, yeah, that was the situation. I called the office. I said I need to go home. I need to go. Um, my teacher's dying, and I gotta get home and see him before he dies. And J.J. Dillon told me we need you to stay on the road. Like, they really fucking needed me to stay on the road. Um, and after the fact, when I got home, I was supposed to go home and get right on a plane, and my wife told me he was gone, and I, I called J.J., and I said, you know what, fuck this bullshit. I said, it's not fucking worth it. So you weren't able to get home before no, you passed? No, no. I was like, fuck you, you know? Did they let you go for the Oh, and then J.J. The told me, and... yeah, that's, and, and, and Randy Savage would, really good friend of me at the time, you know, and uh, he understood what I was going through. And um, He came and uh, he, got, he picked me up from the airport, you know, we went to the funeral together. JJ was the point guy if you needed to do something He was like the head that, of talent relations, yeah, and he ran it very much Johnny Laurinaitis style. He, I, I, you know, I guess he felt like they had to beat us down into submission, you know. And so. this is nothing you could go around him and say, Vince. Oh, I did afterwards, but like I didn't well, realize I, mean, I before could. The, before. Mm -hmm. You don't, I'm, you know, I'm new. I'm still fairly mm -hmm. new to going in to do battle with the fucking office, you know. I've never been trained as a wrestler, so I want you to tell me what having a mentor like this means to you as a successful wrestler. That's, you know, there's going to be, you know, there's guys that are going to be, uh, they're gonna do well no matter what, because they just, they just got, they just have it, you know. But um, still, like the training and the teaching and the wisdom from a guy like that. I mean, you really learn how to wrestle. I mean, these aren't just fucking fake wrestling moves. Pro wrestling is a legitimate fucking, you know, catch wrestling, legitimate fucking, you know, um, martial art. If you want to put it that way. Um, and he taught us how to really wrestle. And uh, he also did his best to teach us the psychology as much as we could comprehend at the time. And I always was around Larry, Bor uh, mm -hmm. Larry uh, every day. I wasn't just around him with, when we were at school because I, I, I did all the flyers and shit on the computer. I made the tickets and... You know, um, I was basically helped him promote the shows too. You know, because I didn't, I never had money to pay to go to wrestling school, so I worked it off that way. And I used to stay in the ring the whole day and just go in there with one guy after another. You know, and so uh, I had an amazing amount of fucking uh, experience in the ring technically. You know. Mm -hmm. My, my my technique was very sharp. Um, to this day, it's pretty sharp. Like, and I and I um, I attribute that to to Malenko. Did you is he someone that you would call for business advice after you were working? Yeah. in New York. Sure. Yeah. What do I do here? Or what do you think of this guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like I remember calling him one time because, you know, he had told me about Strongbow and I Strongbow fucking. <laughs> Strongbow was like, you know, he had this fucking manner about him, and he'd go, uh, Trailer, uh, what's my real name? He asked me one time. I said, Joe Scarpa. I said, Nope. I bet you can't. I, was, I bet you can't find out either. So I went and asked Malenko, and he told me, It's Luke. So next TV, I, go, I say, Hey, Luke. Trailer, who told you that? And I told him. And he was like, Okay. I mean, it's not that great a story, but. So where did Joe Scarpa come? Because that's the name that everybody knows. Is, His is actual Luke? real first name is Luke, yeah. Okay. It's... <laughs> well, that was a nice tribute to Larry. Um, Thank you for letting me talk about No, I'm glad you did. I wouldn't be here without him.